Do you know where you live before you came to Earth? Find out in today's episode. High five! And dive! Into the New Testament! With Charlie and Abby and friends! Who's there? Bear! Bear who? Very nice to meet you! Here's your map! Thanks for the map and for the laughs! The map says the bottle's in the library. Let's go. Maybe we should try by the kids' books. Oh, look, the bottle's right there. Good job, Charlie. The map says the book is by the candy store. Let's go. Do you see it? Not yet, but look at all the candy. Oh, look, the book's right there. Oh, that was easy. The map says the bag is by the water tower. I saw the tower of water at the library. Wow, that's a lot of water. That's how much water we use in one day. Look, there's the bag. We got everything. Let's go tell mom. Hi, mom. Hey kids, what did you find today? We found a bottle. It says, I know five blanks was born to help me return to heaven. And a book with five animal cards, two crabs, an orange fish, a salmon, and a shrimp. In a bag. Inside there is a, it's a Care Bear. This is mine. And he's so soft. Oh look, he has a star on his belly. Mom, what's the bear for? Let's read the scripture first and find out. Charlie, can you read it for us? Sure, Mom. The scripture's on John, chapter 18, verse 37. It says, Jesus answered, Thou sayest that I am a king to this end. Was I born, and for this cause came in I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Charlie, look, it says bear. I didn't know the scripture talked about bear. Me either. Actually, the Book of Mormon and the Bible mention a bear when they talk about the millennium, a thousand years of peace when Jesus will be here. That's going to be so cool. I remember you said that animals will be at peace. Yes, Nephi quotes Isaiah when he says, and the cow and the bear shall feed. Their young ones shall lie down together, and the lion shall eat straw like the ox. That will be a great day. But this scripture isn't talking about the animal like a bear or a care bear like you found in the bag, Abby. This scripture is talking about a different meaning for bear, and we'll talk about that in just a moment. Do you know what was happening or who Jesus was talking to in this scripture? Well, after the Last Supper with his apostles, Jesus went to the Garden of Gethsemane to pray and take upon him all of our sins and pain. Then one of his apostles turned against him, and Jesus was taken to the leader at the time in Rome. His name was Pilate. Pilate was questioning Jesus and asked him if he was a king. This is what Jesus said. There are three words I want to talk about in this scripture. Let's underline them. First we have born, then cause, and the last one is bear. First, let's talk about Jesus being born. Jesus was the only begotten son of Heavenly Father. This means that unlike you and I, who have an earthly father and a heavenly father, Jesus' father on earth and in heaven is the same, our Heavenly Father. Before he was born, prophets had prophesied that a new star would appear, letting the people know that Jesus was born. In the New Testament, the wise men said, Where is he that is born King of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. In the Book of Mormon, Samuel the Lamanite taught the people, There shall a new star arise, such an one as ye never have beheld, and this also shall be a sign unto you. Jesus was born in a humble stable. Elder Alexander B. Morrison said that Jesus is a Lord God omnipotent, who sits at the right hand of the Father, creator of the worlds without number, lawgiver and judge, condescend to come to earth to be born in a manger. The next part of this scripture says that for this cause came I into the world. Let's add the word cause to the board. Do you know what the word cause means? I don't know, but we can ask Google. Okay, Google, what does cause mean? Cause has four different meanings. 
a principle, aim, or movement that, because of a deep commitment, one is prepared to defend or advocate. Is that the meaning you were looking for? Yes, I like that one. That was pretty cool. Did you watch our video last week where we talked about Alexa and how we can learn a lot of things from her? But remember, the Holy Ghost can help us learn all things. But Google can be a good resource, and this definition is a good one. So, if cause means a movement or deep commitment, or one is prepared to defend or advocate for, we are talking about Heavenly Father's cause or His work. In the scriptures it says, For behold, this is my work and my glory, to bring to pass the immortality and eternal life of man. The plan of salvation is the plan that helps us live forever with God. Let's talk about the plan of salvation, or the plan of happiness as sometimes we call it, and see how Jesus fits into this plan and how it helps us. First, I asked the question at the beginning of this video, do you know where you lived before you came to earth? Well, we all lived with our heavenly parents, our heavenly father and our heavenly mother, and all of us were together in what we call the pre-mortal life. In the pre-mortal life or pre-earth life, which just means before we came to earth, we were spirit children spirit sons and daughters of a loving Heavenly Father and Heavenly Mother. So we lived with them there. And all of us were together. Now, in the spirit world, there was what we call a war in heaven. Heavenly Father wanted us to come to earth to have a body and learn things that we needed to do so we can live with them again. And Jesus said, I'll go down. I will help. And you, Heavenly Father, will have all the glory. Well, there was somebody else that wanted to help too. And his name was Lucifer or Satan. And he wanted to save all of Heavenly Father's children, but he was going to force everybody. He wanted to take our agency, the freedom to choose, away from us. Heavenly Father chose Jesus Christ to help advocate, defend, and carry out the plan of salvation. Now we all had to come to earth to get a body and there was something that was placed over us or that makes us forget what it was like when we lived with God. And that is called the veil. So we're going to put the veil here. Now we're going to quickly go through the entire plan of salvation. And if you have questions, which I know you will, ask your parents. But I will make videos later and talk about each of the different parts. But for now, I'm just going to show you kind of a big overview of what the plan of salvation is all about. So this is the world. And who created the world? We know that the creation happened because of Jesus Christ. He was the creator of this world. And then Adam and Eve were placed on the earth. These are our first parents that came from Heavenly Father, just like we did. And there is something called the fall. And we've talked about this before, where Adam and Eve lived in the garden and Satan came and tempted them to take the fruit of the tree they weren't supposed to. And then they were cast out. Now, because Adam and Eve were kicked out of the Garden of Eden, we needed help. We needed somebody to help us return back to Heavenly Father. Because part of the problem when Adam and Eve took of the fruit was that they weren't able to talk to God anymore face to face. And they needed help. They needed somebody to advocate or have a cause to help them get back to their Heavenly Parents. And we already know that Jesus in the pre-earth life right here was chosen to help us. So Jesus was the person that helped us. So Jesus Christ was born as just a little baby, just like you and me. So Jesus came to earth as a baby and he atoned for our sins, like I said, in the Garden of Gethsemane. And once he died, he was no longer on the earth. And last week we learned about what happened. When Jesus left, he sent the Holy Ghost to help us to learn the truth. Make sure you watch that video, that's so important. So now it's our turn. We were in heaven when all of this happened. And then it's our chance to be born. So our spirit left our Heavenly Father and our Heavenly Mother and we got a body. So now our spirit and our body become one. And we get to come to earth to learn and to grow and to have a family. And this is such a blessing for us. Now here on earth, we get to learn about Jesus. We get to learn how what he did so that we can follow him. We get to go to holy temples to have our families be with us forever. Everyone one day is going to die. And so this tombstone is going to represent us dying. Now, 
what happens to our body when we die? So here's our body and our spirit. Remember we talked about this with the glove and the resurrection? Our spirit goes to heaven and our body goes into the ground, just like this. So the body is going to go in the ground, in the tomb. We're going to hide it underneath here. And our spirit's going to go to the spirit world. So this is what we call the afterlife. Or the place we go when we die, when we graduate from this life. And then one day Jesus Christ will come again to earth. His second coming. We've learned about that through the 10 virgins and when he comes again video. So make sure to watch those too. But this is when that bear and cow will be peaceful, that everything will be peaceful on the earth for a thousand years and Jesus Christ will reign. Then we'll be resurrected and there'll be a final judgment. And then we'll be able to go to the celestial kingdom, terrestrial or celestial kingdom. Now I want to go to the celestial kingdom because that is where our families can be together forever and where we can be like our heavenly parents. I know that this plan of our Heavenly Father really does bring happiness and peace to our life and that Jesus Christ is so important to this plan. I'm so grateful that we all chose Jesus before we came to earth so that we can be a family. I'm so glad we chose to follow Jesus. Yes, otherwise we wouldn't have a body and come to earth. Now the last part of the scripture says that Jesus should bear witness unto the truth. Let's add the word bear to the board. What does it mean to bear witness and not the cute Care Bear Abby found in the bag? Well, once a month at church, we have a chance to share our testimony with others. This is called a fast and testimony meeting. We fast from food and drink, and then we share or bear testimony about the things we know from the Holy Ghost. Do you remember our tea machine? We already learned all about how we can get or gain a testimony. And also that on Sunday, we can share our testimony at church. But do we have to wait until Sunday to share things that we know are true? No, we can share what we know whenever we want to. That's right, Abby. We have talked about sharing our light before and sharing the things we know to be true. We can do that anytime, anywhere, and with anyone. As you follow the Holy Ghost and learn to listen, you will be inspired to know what to say and share. The word bear means to carry the weight of something or support. Bear also means to serve as evidence or proof that something exists. This part of the scripture that says to bear witness and to the truth means that Jesus carried the weight of our sins and pains of the world. This happened in the Garden of Gethsemane. He then literally carried a large wooden cross and then was nailed to it and died for us. I'm so grateful that he was then resurrected from the grave three days later. You remember what that means, right? Our body that's in the ground and our spirit that was in heaven come together, never to be separated again. I know we can be resurrected and live again, just like Jesus did. That's what will happen to Uncle Ralph, right, Mom? Yes, Charlie. Charlie's great uncle and my uncle just graduated from Earth. He died last week. Let's look at the plan of salvation again and see where he went. Abby, do you know where he is right now? Well, you just said that when we die, our bodies go into the ground and our spirit goes to heaven. So he must be there. That's right. He is right here with his parents and wife and other family members and with Jesus. His body was buried in the ground and his spirit is in the spirit world. But one day he will be resurrected. One day I will see my uncle again. Now, another definition for bear that I shared with you already means to serve as evidence or proof that something exists. Jesus Christ is evidence of God, the Father's great love for us. One of the scriptures we studied this year said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoso believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Jesus' birth, life, and death bears witness that God does exist, that he does love and care for us, and that we can live with him again. Let us sing the primary song, I Will Follow God's Plan for Me. 
My life is a gift. My life has a plan. My life has a purpose. In heaven it began. My choice was to come to this lovely home on earth and seek for God's light to direct me from birth. I will find. I love that song. Jesus Christ is central to the plan of salvation. That means that he is the most important part of our happiness because Jesus was born for a cause to bear this plan. The plan of salvation works. He is the key that unlocks the great blessings found in the plan of salvation. We can return to live with God again. Now let's decode the message in a bottle. The crab is the letter S, and there are two of them. The orange fish is the letter U. The salmon is the letter E. And the shrimp is the letter J. It says Jesus. I know Jesus was born to help me return to heaven. I know Jesus was born to help us too. He is our advocate with our Heavenly Father. He's the way, the truth, and the light. So what can we do to follow him? Friends, you too were born with a purpose, a cause to bear. You were born so that you could come to earth and get a body. Let's draw a picture. So first we know that Jesus was born, that he had a cause or purpose, and to bear witness of Heavenly Father and his great love for us and the plan of happiness. So Jesus was born for a cause to bear. Now, friends, you and I are born with a purpose and a cause to bear. You were born so that you could get a body and to learn how to have faith in Jesus, repent of your mistakes, and make and keep covenants with God. Your cause or your purpose is to follow him. So let's put follow him to follow the plan of salvation as we stay on the covenant path and then we bear witness or share our testimony and love of Jesus with others. Let's draw another line over here and write share. And then let's connect the other line. We started this lesson talking about a star, the star that saved the Nephites when they were waiting patiently for a sign of Jesus's birth. It was a sign to the wise men to know where they could find him. And we can be a star as we partner with Jesus keep his commandments, follow him, and stay on the covenant path. This week, find ways to share or bear testimony of Jesus, whether with a friend, with a family member, or with yourself by writing down your feelings about him. You can be a star as you shine your light and help others know who Jesus is. I know God lives and that he loves you so much. I know that the plan of salvation is the only way we can live forever with our families, with Jesus and our heavenly parents. And I know that Jesus is the key to this plan. He is the key because he died for us. He sacrificed for us. He still has the scars in both of his hands and feet and in his side, five places that mark his great love for us, just like the five points of a star. You are a beloved son or daughter of God. His love for you is infinite and eternal. That means it will never go away. He knows you can be faithful in keeping your covenants as you follow and stay on the covenant path. Thanks, Mom. We learned so many important things today. Yes, I'm grateful for the happy plan. Me too, and someone that loves us to follow. Until next time. Remember, Jesus loves you. Bye, my friends. Before you go, support our channel by joining our scripture club and get fun printables. Have you subscribed to our channel yet?
If not, click subscribe below and hit the bell to be notified when we post our next video. If you like this video, please share it with a friend. See us soon. Bye, my friends. Good. That's it.